What's going on guys? I'm Tom Carter and today I'm going to bring you along on a production shoot. Last week I took to Instagram to ask you guys what you wanted to see more of and while I'm usually a single shooter on a job I have an amazing assistant here with me today to bring you guys along behind the scenes of a production shoot. Let's see what we've got up to today. So I want people to be moved by my painting so if they've got it up in their wall or up in their home just to look back at it and be able to feel a memory or somewhere they've lived, somewhere they used to live, somewhere they walk their dogs something quite inspiring for me knowing that people have got my work up in their homes. As of lately, or well, the past sort of couple of years, I've had the opportunity to teach at a couple of schools. This has been a great opportunity for me to be able to sort of inspire children to take up painting and encourage them to paint. Um, it's something that I find extremely rewarding myself. Now it might look easy, and you just push a few buttons. But I can assure you, a lot of work goes into the planning of these shoots. From the cameras, lenses, the equipment, the lighting, and everything in between. So today, I'm here with Josh Bygrave, and I'm gonna show you some of the amazing work that he does. And that cat is out of the way all the time, isn't it? <laughs> So on most jobs, it's my role to be the DP, the lighting, the audio, the director, and of course the editor. So it's really important to have a full plan in place and to make sure that your client is fully understanding of how the day is gonna go. So for this job, I'll be doing a two camera setup. I'll be using the Sony A7S III with a 2470 Sony G Master lens and the B-cam I'll be using the Sony a7 III with a 35mm Prime as the B-cam. These are both absolute beasts of cameras and I literally swear by Sony gear. So although this is going to be the third shot I think, uh, I've planned a shot list as to the ideas of where I want these shots to kind of play out. Um, this is going to be about, be about the third shot but because I've planned it I know that I want Josh to kind of start walking towards his art studio. Um, so this is going to be the, the third shot of the production. <laughs> Top of shot the cat coming in as I open yeah. the doors. Moving into Josh's creative space, this is where I'm going to really start planning and setting the scene. Hoping for a two camera setup, I've got my lighting equipment and I'm just going to get Josh to come into his studio and start really planning creating the scene. So Josh, if I can just get you to yeah, come sure. in and sit down. If I just get you to sit in the far corner for far me. Far corner, yeah. yeah. Sure. And I'm just going to start planning as to where, where it might look. This is the experimental stage really of, of understanding what's best and where, you know, realistically where Josh is going to look the best in the scene. blackout sheet to uh, stop the sun coming through. I've got the Aperture 120D which is my main key light. Uh, I've got my two camera set up with the Sony a7S III and the a7 III and I've got a tiny little aperture light just to give a little bit of backlight on Josh. So I haven't always had the Aperture 120D and while I know it's expensive I just want you guys to know that you can really get some budget friendly lights off Amazon and eBay do the exact same job and guarantee now that having lights is better than having no lights. So that can literally go in your pocket hidden yeah. preferably hidden yeah and then that put up your up your top and then I'll, right. I'll hook that onto you so that right. can just be hidden in your pocket right so i'm using a wireless go to for this job purely because it's the only and best microphone that i have uh, and they're wireless so it means that 
the cables can be hidden. Put that one up your top. Yeah. When it comes to the talking head style videos, I usually always have notes on my phone to prompt the client. So for instance, in this situation, I'm gonna prompt Josh and ask him the questions that I would like to know as a viewer on his video. So let's roll. Let's First this morning. Yeah, I had breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? I had um, porridge, some blueberries. That's a wrap for the talking head. So after speaking to Josh and hearing what inspires him and what's made him, you know, be an artist, I've been taking some notes on my phone to try and encourage, uh, you know, the B-roll style content that I want to capture for this video. that is a wrap so we've captured all of the b-roll clips which is going to overlay josh's talking head style of uh, what inspires him to be an artist uh, just kind of bring you guys or bring the viewer on a visual representation of josh and his creativity and his art that was a day in the life of a production uh, thank you to josh obviously for letting me bring him on behind the scenes to show you guys what happens on the day of a production i've already started listening to uh, some music to give me some inspiration for the shots that i want to capture i now need to go and dump the footage and just start editing this project so if you enjoyed this please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon Peace. Yo.